Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. We're on lecture number two now and in this lecture what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up our Scratch account and creating it. Now, if you're not able to create an account and you had trouble setting up and probably won't be able to get it working for whatever reason, there's always this create button up here in the header that you can click and you can actually follow along with the course still and you can, since mo the vast majority of the time will be spent in the editor that this directs you to. However, we're actually going to be, I highly, highly recommend you and encourage you to create an account because if you do that, you'll be able to save your projects. You'll be able to share them as well. And although we won't focus too much on the social aspect of the site at all, you'll actually be able to do that outside of the course if you want. So if you create an account, which is completely free and once you click join scratch up here in the top right, which is how you create an account, this box will pop up. And you're going to want to choose a username firstly, and since no two accounts going to have the same name, don't worry if it's taken and it won't let you do it, just find one that's not taken that you like, go with that. Uh, you're going to want to make a password and retype the password, I'd recommend it to be at least 8 characters long. And also, don't share it with anyone, don't store it electronically, but if you don't, don't want to forget it, I'd recommend writing it down on a piece of paper, making sure that that paper is safe from anyone else accessing it. Now, once you've done that, step number two, and I'm not actually going to walk you through this, uh, demonstrate the whole thing. I'll just like verbally walk you through it because I already have an account. And so after that, you're going to uh, choose your country, your gender, and your birth month and birth year. Once you've done that, you just have to enter and retype your email address you want to use. Make sure it's a real email address because the next step, which although optional, I'd highly recommend you do, which is verify your email address because you'll shortly after receive an email from the Scratch team. And you just have to click a button and it'll verify your account allowing you to do a few features that you won't need for this course, but if you want to play around with Scratch outside of this course, I'd recommend you verify your email in this last step here. It's also a little verification test after you enter your email to make sure you're a robot, not a human, but it should be fairly simple. Now, you'll be automatically signed in after you do that. If that doesn't work, you can manually sign in using this sign in button up here, but I'll catch you in the next video once I'm signed in. Again, if this didn't work and it's probably not going to be able to work in the future, just use this create button, but I highly recommend you create an account. So I'll see you guys in the next lecture once we're both signed in.